Let's do this! Yes. Draw! Fall! Start us off! Hold it right there! When we strike, die! Yeah? What is it? Are you going to die too? Am I... what? Will you go away forever, like your father did? If I protect you, will that keep you alive? Oh, that's... thanks, Sophie. But dying is something you can't do much about. I could catch some disease or trip and fall down the stairs or anything, you know? Even if I live a long life, my time's still going to end eventually. But you don't have to worry. That's probably decades away. But that's nothing. Not when time passes so quickly. It wasn't so long ago that you used to be shorter than me. And you were a much slower runner than you are now. But I'm still the same. I haven't changed in years. Is it because I'm different from everyone? Will I be left behind because I'm not human? Sophie. I'm sorry, Asbel. I'll see you at home. I do not wish to pry, Lord Asbel, but did you and Sophie have a fight? She fled straight to her room the moment she came home. Sophie. Oh, and this arrived while you were out. It's from King Richard. Could you get Bailey for me, Frederick? Right away, sir. What did it say? It's about the recent increase in monster attacks. Apparently the same thing is happening in Windor, Strata, and Fendel. Then it's worse than we thought. Looks like it. Do you have a plan, sir? Richard thinks he's found one of the monster's nests. He's convinced all three countries to join forces and destroy it. So the letter was a request for your assistance? Yes, which means I'll be leaving Lont for a while. Then I wish you safe travels, Lord Asbel. I will watch over things in your absence. Thank you, Bailey. 
I'll head for the capital tomorrow. Understood. Will you be taking Sophie with you, Master Asbel? I'd like to, but I'm not sure how she's feeling. Come on, Sophie. Let's get going. Sophie? Are you hiding? Come on! Lord Asbel, if you're looking for Sophie, she left some time ago. What? Did she say where she was going? No, I'm afraid not, my lord. Isn't it a little early in the morning for all this racket? Sophie's gone. Well, don't panic. She probably decided to visit a flower meadow or something of that nature. Leave finding Sophie to us. Right now, you should head to the capital. But... Sir, daylight is wasting. I promise to devote all our efforts to finding her. I just... It would not be good to keep King Richard waiting, my lord. You're right, of course. Okay, I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Asbel? Do you think about meeting with at least one young bridal prospect when you return? Hmm? Mom, I told you. Unless, of course, your resistance is because you have someone in mind already. Uh, no, that's not... I mean, maybe I do. But maybe I... I don't know. Ah, so indecisive. This is one of the most important decisions you will ever make. So if you have your eye on someone already, I'll burn those other proposals myself. Can we please talk about this later? I need to go. I have to admit, traveling solo like this is kind of lonely. I can't remember the last time I walked out here without someone by my side. No funny stories from Pascal. No tall tales from the captain. No snappy retorts from Sheria or Hubert. <sighs> Just doesn't feel right being here without them. Even Sophie. Sophie. Wait a minute, do I always talk to myself like this? Let's do this! Draw! Draw! Die! Blow him down! Die! Hold it right there! Hold it right there! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Looking good. Hold it right there. What? Draw. Die. Hold it right there. it off somehow. Thank you. 
Uh, Sharia! Wait a minute. What's the matter with you? I... I just didn't expect to see you here, that's all. King Richard has asked our relief organization for assistance. Is that so? Well, I'm sure you'll be a huge help. Why are you acting so weird? Uh, it's nothing. So, uh, how's the relief work going anyway? We've been running ragged lately. People need our help more than ever. I've lost count of how many times I've visited Strata and Fendel. That busy, huh? So does that mean that the monster attacks continue to keep on increasing? We're at our busiest when times are bad. It's been pretty difficult. Honestly, I'd happily lose my job if it meant things were peaceful again. <clears throat> so, where's Sophie? Why isn't she here? Well, she... Tell me the truth. She's not sick, is she? No. She's fine, but she... Lord Asbel. Miss Sheria. Thank you both so much for coming. It's good to see you again, Duke Dallin. His Highness is waiting in the throne room. Right this way, please. Asbel, Sharia, thank you for coming.
What is it, Richard? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, Asbel. You came here despite all that's going on right now. It's no trouble at all. I'm always ready to help you. Always ready to help out. You haven't changed at all. All of this was in no small way. All my fault. However, getting rid of these monsters is the best way I can think of. To make amends. And yet it seems that I can't even do that without your assistance. It's all right. Apologies for the delay, Your Highness. It's good to see you again, Captain. And you as well, Hubert. Now we just need Pascal, and our merry gang will be complete once again. Wasn't Pascal supposed to accompany you, Captain? Yes, I waited for her, at the harbor, but she never showed up. That girl never changes. I swear. What's she doing now? Well, most of us have gathered, so let's go ahead and begin. In the last month, monster attacks have been occurring in Strata with greater frequency. It's the same in Fendel. We have fewer monsters, but each seems to do more damage than the last. A familiar story. We and Windor share the same problem. Do we know what's causing this? We've been looking into it, but so far have learned nothing. However, we also know that King Richard has located one of their nests. Recently, some of my knights stumbled onto an ancient underground ruin in the area near Glowandi. The place was crawling with creatures spawned from Lambda. I knew the foul beasts had to be hiding somewhere. An underground nest? It's worth investigating, at least. And if we can destroy it altogether, it should help cut down on the number of monster attacks. The ruins appear to be of a Marcian origin. So that's why you wanted Pascal. It's indeed unfortunate that she didn't make it. Unfortunate, but not critical. We'll just have to investigate without her. I suppose so. By the way, Asbel, where's Sophie? Um, she's... Actually, let's talk about that later. Right now we should focus on the ruins. Asbel... Very well. With your permission, Highness, we shall strike out immediately. The entrance to the ruins is in the catacombs beneath Verona. Let's get going. It's been too long, Asbel. I know, it's been a while. It's good to see all of you guys again. It's good to see you as well. Likewise, it seems I've seen these two more than my own brother lately. Wait, you have? Hubert is in charge of Strata's Nova Monster Eradication Force. I've seen him at the Tri-Nation Conferences. My responsibilities have also taken me to Fendel, where Captain Malik has been of great assistance. 
As the Chancellor's envoy, I've had chances to meet with King Richard on many occasions. Hold on, seriously? And you guys never invited me? Come now, Asbel. These are hardly social calls. You in oh, okay. right here. Come for it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, Richard. That was impressive. Well, I'm nowhere near your level, Asbel. The relief organization must be tough work. Yes, but it's also quite rewarding. And after all the hard work, it got me thinking about the past. It's a little late, but... I finally understand how you felt when you decided to become a knight seven years ago. You do? You wanted to get stronger so you could protect your friends. Yeah, you're right. So will you support me? Of course. Give it your best. I will. The phrase, men surrender their ideals in adolescence, women pursue them in maturity, comes to mind. Wise words. Who spoke them? The one and only M. Caesar. I've heard that name before. Wait, that's your name! I can't believe all this is underneath Glowandi. It's the first I've known about it. We found a similar looking ruin beneath Wallbridge, remember? That's true. They do seem quite similar. I imagine the Amarcians built them around the same time. I wonder what they're for. I'm sure Pascal would be full of theories. Perhaps. At any rate, let's press on and see what we can learn. I sense powerful monsters down here. Keep your wits about you. I've been hearing about your work from travelers. Everyone says you're doing a great job. In Strata, King Richard is more popular than even our own president. You can actually buy trading cards with his picture on them. In Fendel, his popularity rivals that of the Chancellor. I'm not sure who is more famous. Please believe me. 
I don't lead these monster hunts out of some mad desire for fame. My earlier actions dealt a considerable amount of economic damage to both Fendel and Strata. To make restitution for those deeds, Windor has taken on massive amounts of debt. But I'm no fool. Confidence in leadership is something that no amount of money can buy. Your popularity is manifest proof of the trust the people of this world hold for you. In truth, you're the envy of leaders everywhere. Thank you, Malik. And yet, does that justify what's happening? Justify what? My retainers are selling keychains with my face on them. They make dolls in my image, and even King Richard fruit snacks. All to pay down the debt. How shameless! Everyone stay out of the game! Death by moonlight! Carve out a moon in this name! Death by moonlight! Run my way through! Okay, die! Fall! Fall! Rest in peace, forever. Watch out! Richard! Everyone stay on your game! <laughs> Not looking well. Can't 
me happening? I won't disgrace my... Aqua bullet! Blood shot! Aqua bullet! All right. Blood shot! Aqua bullet! Aqua bullet! Blood shot! Like the dam. Instant balls. Fashion truth. Slice. Blood shot. Aqua bullet. Blood shot. Aqua bullet. Burn. Flare shot. Burn. Flare shot. Blood shot. Burn shot. Blood shot. Burn. You okay, Richard? Yes, I'm fine. I don't think we can get back up that way. Doesn't look like it. Abdo, Richard, are you okay? We're fine! Keep going! We'll meet you up ahead! Okay, be careful down there. Kinda takes you back to when we were kids, huh? Except Sophie was with us as well. Yeah, she was. Asbel? What is it? How is Lambda doing? Has he been speaking with you or trying to manipulate you in any way? No, he hasn't tried anything like that. I almost killed Sophie because I carried that thing inside me. If that ever happened to you... Don't worry, Richard. Sophie and I are just fine. It's true that neither of us knows what Lambda will do going forward. But living with Lambda was my decision. Whatever problems come up, I'll find a way to deal with them. 
Will you go away forever, like your father did? Will I be left behind because I'm not human? Whatever problems. What's wrong? Nothing. I probably just hurt myself when we fell. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's go. I hope Sharia and the others are doing all right. Hubert and Captain Malik are there. I'm sure they're fine. Anyway, this place seems safe. Why don't we rest for a bit? Richard? Yes? Do you ever think about the future? I mean, decades from now? Where'd that come from? Sophie was talking about how I'm gonna leave her behind when I die. I told her it was decades away and she shouldn't worry about it. I mean, I hadn't even really thought about it myself. But that just made her more upset. She said the years would pass in no time at all. Is that... Why she isn't here? It made me realize how differently she experiences time. She seems so human. Sometimes I forget she won't grow old and die like the rest of us. I've always treated her like a normal person. And I don't regret that at all. But at the same time, I haven't given the future a whole lot of thought. Perhaps these are thoughts you should share with her instead of keeping them to yourself. If she mentioned it to you, it's likely a concern she's had for some time. That's true. You were able to accept Lambda's loneliness. If anyone can help Sophie with hers, it's you. You're right. Thanks for talking to me. Happy to help. Come on, I'm sure the others are getting worried. Then let's go.
I can't make out anything from up here. Asbel, Richard, are you okay? We're fine. Keep going. We'll meet you up ahead. Okay. Be careful down there. That's my brother. Tough as a rock, if nothing else. We should move before more monsters show up. that your skills are quite impressive. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? There certainly are a lot of monsters down here. I just hope what we're doing helps to lessen the attacks on our people. Your relief organization must have been heavily taxed recently. Are you getting enough rest? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just glad I can help somehow. I was so sick as a child, I never thought I'd be able to do anything. I guess I'm trying to make up for it now. That's good for the people, but what about you? What about you and Asbel? My mother says he's been swamped with marriage proposals. Oh? Guys like him may be slow on the uptake, but once they make a choice, things tend to move quickly. Well, I wish he'd hurry up so our mother can stop worrying about it. Why don't you get married first? That might help ease her mind a little. Well, why are we talking about me now? Don't play dumb. We've all heard about your possible engagement to the president's daughter. What? Really? How do you know about that? People talk, I listen. At this rate, you'll be the new president of Strata in no time. Hubert, when did this happen? It's nothing to do with me. The president brought up the idea of his own accord. And even if I did marry her, that doesn't mean I'd take over Strata. 
The presidency is not passed down through a bloodline. I thought you knew that. Hey, wait up! Kids these days. It's a wonderful thing. That strange talk, coming from a lifelong bachelor. They say that when life breaks your spirit, a wife can help to mend it. And when you find yourselves apart, you need only shut your eyes to see her again. Until she seizes control of your life one piece at a time and you find your own hopes and dreams put on hold. You can't even spend your own salary. You have to beg permission for every little thing you want to buy. Precious belongings you've labored to collect are tossed like so much junk. And yet she thinks nothing of taking your purse and blowing all your coin on some fancy hat. That's very specific. Have you been married before? Even a cursory examination of the topic proves that this is the only outcome. Instead of selecting a wife who intends to live solely through her husband's station, one should seek an independent-minded woman that... Yes, well, I think I've said enough. And if you're so eager to endorse the institution of marriage, perhaps you should get married yourself. In any case, marriage is a wonderful thing. Don't you agree, Sharia? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Sharia? Huh? Oh, right. Marriage. Yeah, sure. You should marry someone if you want. I can't imagine doing it myself. Um... Sharia? Waiting until you've completed all the things you want to do would be pretty selfish. Wouldn't it? Mm. <sighs> <sighs> Fall! 
No one can stand before my blade! Like the old days. Expect the best from everyone. <laughs> Tiger Blade! First! Yes, I'm swing! Lightning come first! <laughs> Tiger Blade! First! <laughs> Prepare yourself! Dance like the dam! Instant balls! <laughs> Tiger Blade! Detonate! <laughs> Mega Sonic! <laughs> now, it's over! It ends here! How could I? Uh -huh. What? My regard. Not bad, don't you think? Sharp, even against Trunk. Tiger Blade! Detonate! What? Not 
bad, don't you think? See the value in fighting. Very well. Stand and join your skull. Be gone! Charge! Open the door to despair. Roll! Charge! Fall before me! Emerald, draw! Die! Open the door to Draw! Die! Annihilate! We won't fail!
This will be nice. Tiger Blade! It ends here! Freeze here! Weapon here! Fury! Fire! Power on the plate! Now! You what? You got it! My regards! Everyone did as well as could be expected.
can't believe our baby Hubert got so strong. <clears throat> Please don't mention my past in front of everyone. when you misjudge your foe. Glad to see you're all okay. Are the two of you all right? Yeah, we're fine. Sorry to make you worry. I don't know what we'd do if something happened to you, King Richard. Your concern for my well-being is touching. That's okay, Asbel. If anything happens, I'll protect you. Your words are wasted on me, Your Highness. I'm only doing what you would do for me. Hey, come on. This reminds me of when we were kids. Yes, it does. I hate to break up the happy reunion, but we need to keep moving. Let's do 
Sometimes I can't help but regret the past. Asbel. Why didn't I push harder for a raise in my allowance? What? what? We could continue striking blindly towards the heart of the nest. However, we don't even know where that is. Perhaps we should temporarily withdraw and study the matter further. But we've come so far. A decisive attack still seems better. Hmm. Yes? What is it, Captain? When I see the ones I trained debate their options so wisely, I can't help but suddenly feel like growing old isn't such a bad thing. Uh-huh. People hate growing older. Nobody wants to get closer to death. But when you see a bunch of slack-jawed kids transform into worthy adults, it really keeps your hope alive. I see. Perhaps the captain could offer some less melodramatic advice. <sighs> it would seem you're all still a bit too green for me to retire just yet. Growing old isn't so bad, huh? But what happens in Sophie's case?